Oh, it's early September, the very, very first week of Kentucky's archery season. And I'm here in a familiar spot in Shelby County. It's the same stand I hunted several times last year. Had quite a few encounters with some nice deer, just nothing I wanted to take just yet. I really didn't see myself hunting this stand this early because as farmers do crop rotations this year, this is in corn. There could be a herd of deer standing right there and I would never know it. So it really puts me in a situation where I have to set up here on the field edge and hunt the woods. Well, this woods is thick. It's 30 minutes after daylight right now and I can still barely see spots back in here. It's gonna be very, very hard to pick up a deer slipping through the woods. I'm gonna to have to stay on my feet, bow in hand, release attached to my string and watching because if a deer comes through I'm going to have literally seconds to field judge it and decide if I'm going to take a shot and then find a opportunity to get a really good shot. Like all September's my freezer is empty so I'm willing to take a doe. Stay tuned because it's going to be fast and furious. Literally if a deer comes in it's going to be there it is draw and shoot. She started getting a little nervous. You saw her smell, saw her smell. Thank goodness she was upwind. She couldn't wind us. And she went to turn to figure out which direction she was gonna go. Gave me a real tight window. I mean a real tight window to draw and get a shot. I think I put a really good shot on that deer. It was really close. Sometimes those are hard to hit because you shoot over them. But I think I put a really good shot on that deer and it sounded like I heard her go down. Hopefully it's exactly where I think it is. That's the next objective. Locate the deer as quickly as possible. Get it out of here and start processing. Well, here's my arrow. A couple things that you always want to do when you walk up on an impact site is that first off, I'm going to take this arrow and I'm going to inspect it. First off, it looks like looks like all my blades on my broadhead. It's a Grim Reaper broadhead. Looks like they are opened and worked exactly like they're supposed to. The blood I see on here, it's got some little bubbles in it. It looks like a high shoulder shot, possibly through the lung and it's blood soaked all the way to the tip. It's got a little bit of some bubbles on it, probably a single lung shot if I had to guess. Such a high angle because this deer was right under me that it looked like it hit a little high, but that means it'll come out the bottom, which is, which is a really good pass through shot. Now, I'm not gonna take this arrow with me. I'm gonna leave it right here. This is the impact spot. If I, if I were to lose my blood trail, I know I can come back right here and start again. So, <clears throat> right off the bat, I'm seeing blood, and I know the deer went this direction, and I believe it hooked and was, came back around here. It looked like it ran a little circle. I'm already seeing blood through this way, so I'm gonna start tracking this thing. Hopefully, where it crosses this creek, there should be a ton of blood.
all this is completely blood soaked. I heard the deer get to this creek, so I know it made it to the creek. I don't think it made it much past the creek. Just, there's just too much blood. Here's the deer. Here he lays right here. Barely made it past the creek. I thought I heard it fall down, and here it lays. All right, well, here she is. Oh, man. What a, what a nice looking doe. You can tell this deer is kind of transitioning from its summer coat to its winter coat. It's getting real thick, and it's right in that process of shedding. I'll tell you what, this was absolutely perfect. The shot was in high and came out low, which is at that angle, you want to try to aim where you want the arrow to exit. And that's exactly what happened. It turned out to be a perfect shot. I couldn't be more excited to have this deer because my freezer is almost empty and I'm looking for some venison and some ground burgers so that I can make chili and tacos and nachos and all that type of stuff. Hey, it's football season, you know? So I'm looking forward to that. And I'll tell you, th this could not have turned out to be a better situation. I wanna get this thing drug out of this area. This are the woods right here that I keep seeing a buck on camera over and over and over. So now my goal is to get this deer out of here with leaving as little scent as I possibly can. I'm not even gonna fill dress it in here. I'm gonna hook it up and I'm gonna drag it to the truck as fast as I can and get this thing processed, get it home. And I'll tell you what, this here is going to be the beginning of me filling the freezer this fall.